Hotspur Stadium, waiting to speak to us, our reporter, Michael Bridge. Evening, Michael. Yeah, good evening, Mike. Yes, it's a miserable night here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's wet, it's freezing, but will Spurs be miserable come the end of the evening? Or will they be happy with Antonio Conte's return? I'd like to say Spurs YouTuber Chris Cowden joins me. Chris, how do you see tonight's game going? Not much between the two sides. It's going to be a very, very difficult game, but Spurs have got to give absolutely everything tonight. Um, as Sonny said, it is our biggest game of the season. Um, it's been very up and down this season and uh, the last couple of weeks have been disappointing. We've had some good results, but going out the FA Cup last week, very disappointing to a lot of fans. We all wanted a trophy this season, particularly under Antonio Conte, but tonight's game is going to be very, very difficult, but we've got, we've got to give everything. Just feels like a missed opportunity, doesn't it, against Sheffield United, Chris? The FA Cup looks quite open, and Antonio Conte was saying yesterday about wanting to win trophies here, but that looked like the best opportunity. Huge opportunity. 15 years now about a trophy. And when you look at this stadium, when you look at the managers that we've had, the players that we've had here, the likes of Harry Kane, Son, Lloris, you know, some great players here without trophies. It is far too long without trophies. We haven't won the FA Cup since 91. Gutted when we, when we went out. Um, but clearly the priority is top four. Um, you, you get top four for nights like this. And this is why we have to perform tonight. You mentioned managers. Antonio Conte has done a really good job. He got top and fourth last season when he took over from Nuno Espirito Santo. They haven't really kicked on this season, though, have they? No, as I say, it's been frustrating. Uh, the football hasn't been very entertaining. Um, yes, we're sitting in fourth spot, which the club um, you know, will be absolutely delighted about getting Champions League football for next season. Um, but we've had so many frustrating days and nights as Spurs fans this season. We just want to be, you know, having success and that's why it is so gutting about the FA Cup. But, you know, tonight is a huge one. What's a good season for Tottenham? Top four? A trophy. A trophy. Top four and a trophy, that is about progression. Um, you know, I've spoke so often, you know, in the last couple of years about progression, direction. Um, you go from Pochettino, you go to Jose Mourinho, Nuno was here for a short time, then Conte. You know, three fantastic managers there, and we were without a trophy again. And now it is very uncertain about Antonio Conte's future. We don't know whether he is going to be our manager next season. And we're in March. I usually wouldn't ever talk about managers, uh, potential new managers coming in. But because of the uncertainty, I think it's fair. Maurizio Pochettino has been mentioned coming back. If, if, if Antonio Conte doesn't sign a new contract, would you welcome Pochettino back? Absolutely. Um, in November 2019, Pochettino should never have been sacked, in my opinion. Um, I think he had more than enough credit in the bank to keep his job um, at that time. He took us to a Champions League final. We didn't spend a penny in 518 days. I would love to see Pochettino back here one day. I don't know whether this summer is the right time. Um, let's wait and see. But, you know, personally, I'm hoping and I've always hoped that it, it will work out for Antonio Conte. But, you know, going back to your question about what's successful, top four and a trophy. We need trophies here. We well, say one day, the last person who won a trophy was one day Ramos. Anyway, look, Chris, get in the wall. Uh, join us in the next hour. We might have some early team news for you. Look forward to that, Michael. Thanks very much. So you can see that.